shop one in Amsterdam. Vagabond. We just finished eating and drinking. Got some smoothies. It's peanut butter, but it's green. <laughs> I got a berry one. The thing about this place is it's 100% vegan. Everything is vegan, and so Shay got something with cheese on it, but it's vegan. Our friend Alex, who was with us, got something with sausage on it, but, but it was vegan. vegan. <laughs> there's a view of one of the canals, one of the many canals, but it's kind of rare to not have a view of a canal, but still, there's a view of a canal. And we're drinking this, and there's hemp in it, so turn up in Amsterdam. Turn up in Amsterdam Woo! for the hemp and the smoothies. <laughs> Juice Brothers, hooked it up. Juice Brothers, <laughs> no words except for <laughs> go to Juice Brothers. It's like not a joke. They have eight locations. They're constantly making more. They're 100% vegan, all organic ingredients. They have acai bowls, juices, smoothies, Smoothie. snacks, mm -hmm. date bowls. A coconut. Oh, they have a coconut. A coconut. Oh, you gotta go. We were here. Our mark has been made on the window. Delicious, 100% vegan, and you got to sit with like a little communal table and talk to people because we met some fun vegans that are actually from YouTube, John Venus and his girlfriend Catherine. I'm putting it all down below. They're yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Dessert options. It's kind of yeah. like Japanese cuisine. Japanese Caribbean, I think. Yeah. What's this market called? It's called the uh, street Linden Vracht and uh, that's the name. Linden Vracht. Linden, it means like the tree, and Vracht means kennel. Linden Vracht. Okay. Market. We're in that market right now. <laughs> and we started walking down it and found fresh juices and fresh fruit, but we also found dried fruit, which you know we love. We got our pineapple. I got um, dried banana and they, they don't have any added sugar or preservatives in them, so you got to go check out Gaultier if you come to this market. Cafe and cake, something like that. 100% vegan cafe yes. with coffee and cakes. This is the cutest place. It's over by the I Amsterdam Rainbow Pride, Pride, Pride sign. Yeah. So it's a lot less populated than the other ones. So just come here, get pictures by the sign, and get some vegan goodies and some vegan coffee and <laughs> cake. How can I say it? Cafe. <laughs> We are at Doper, which is a completely vegan restaurant as well that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and some desserts, yes. And they also have some like beauty products in there that oh, are yeah. cruelty free as well. They describe it as vegan comfort food. So they have burgers, burgers and fries, and cakes. Yeah, so you should definitely check this out. Mm -hmm. We made it to the Golden Temple, which is a vegetarian restaurant that serves Indian and Southeast Asian food. of options for vegans, and they even have vegan dessert, their entire dessert menu, except the banana cream pie is vegan. And also just the ambience of this place is relaxed. Like right now we're just sitting at a table cross-legged, and there's a dog. <laughs> I will say it's kind of an indulgent spot because it's a bit expensive. A little bit expensive, but it's worth it. It's worth going at least one time when you're in Amsterdam. By the way, I see you're trying to eat with chopsticks. <laughs> I brought you the no. I brought you the chopsticks for this. For that. Actually, the traditional way to eat this is use your hands and the tapati. Oh, so you okay. take a tiny bit of the tapati. You use either well, professionally you would do it with three fingers, but it's really hard. So yeah. you, have, you can use four fingers, and then you take a little bit of tapati. You get whatever you want, a little bit of rice, and you put it in your mouth. 
we just got done eating at Bar, Bar James, James, which is a completely vegetarian and also very vegan like pub. Yeah. Yeah, it has really good pub food and we had the best sweet potato vegan burger. burgers. Oh, oh my god. Amazing. With vegan sweet, sweet potato, potato fries, fries and mayonnaise, which is the thing oh. to eat here is mayonnaise on your fries. But it was vegan mayo. Best sweet potato or best vegan burger oh I've gosh. ever had. It yeah, was so, so good. good. So yeah, this is in the east side of Amsterdam and we really highly recommend it. and Frank house it's a little hard to be enthusiastic about this but it was a really cool experience and you have to go but if you do go make sure that you buy tickets online in advance it does sell out but you need to buy a ticket or else you wait in a long line that wraps but around hours and hours. blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks so yeah. don't do that we waited about two minutes to get inside so do that go in you have to go it's beautiful amazing experience it's sad but it's well Absolutely worthwhile. Worth yeah. There you go, Anne Frank House, done. Make it to the museum quarter because there's the Andy Warhol and Banksy Museum. There is the I Am Amsterdam sign. And there's the Van Gogh Museum all in one little park. And there's a fountain and there's bicycles <laughs> and tourists like us everywhere. And Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and you can go off road too when you don't plan on it. So this is what it looks like at four o'clock in the afternoon if you want to come now. And this is what it looks like at eight in the morning. If you're ever in a big touristy area, our tip is to go really early to the hot spot touristy spot so that you can go there by yourself and not be overwhelmed with the amount of people. the open, open boat tour, tour which was awesome and the area where you can buy the tickets is right outside of central station so when it goes really slow and it's super peaceful and you can enjoy it like we did i think we've done all that we can do in amsterdam we just gotta eat more yeah. <laughs> 